Crikey. Let me tell you, it is no easy feat to find a knife here in Hong Kong. I came back to the hotel room, called front desk and asked to borrow a knife and fork. Completely destroying this lemon. Well, I've been nominated to do the lemon challenge and Traveling ulcers, and today I'm coming to you live from Hong Kong. I'm on Kowloon side with the beautiful Hong Kong Island and Central in the background. I've been nominated by Love Prey Paint to do a lemon challenge, and I know I was nominated like two months ago, but I've been traveling through Japan, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Denmark, and the UK in that time. So I finally, finally have two minutes to myself, and I am finally gonna be doing the lemon challenge but not just the lemon challenge. I'm also pairing the lemon with some tasty local treats. I visited Maxine's Bakery earlier this morning and I just got myself some baked goods, some chicken floss bun and a chicken pie. First question comes from Omamakan03 from YouTube. What is your dream? What is your favorite food? Where do you live? Who is your inspiration? Who is your role model and why? What is the most peaceful thing for you? Like what makes you peaceful? Wow, <laughs> that's like 10 questions in one. I've got to eat the lemon first. Okay. I have an ugly sour face, everyone. Oh, that's gonna be vile. Itadakimasu. That's disgusting. What is your dream? I'm living my dream right now. I'm, I've been traveling the world for the last six months and I'm actually seeing 2018 out here in beautiful Hong Kong. And well, yeah, I'm living the dream right now. What is your favorite food? That's like asking you parents, who's your favorite child? Um, anything spicy. I love anything with a very high Scoville unit. So anything with a habanero and a spicy, spicy, spicy. As the Thais put it, where do you live? Well, home is Australia, Melbourne, specifically Dingley Village. Um, but I consider my backpack my home at the moment. Who's your inspiration? Oh, Struth. My mother, she is such an incredibly passionate, strong individual who I gain a lot of inspiration and she's actually my muse as well. Who is your role model and why? And I, I kind of covered that in my last question. My mum, it's always gonna be my mum, I will admit, and I'm proud to admit, I'm a mummy's boy. What is the most peaceful thing for you? Like, what makes you peaceful? This, just traveling to a new destination, sitting, people watching, eating delicious food. Okay, the next question comes from Love and Pray Paint who nominated me for this challenge. Who is your biggest inspiration? I think I've answered that. Would you ever do a food travel show? Because I think you should. Where did you grow up and how has that impacted you today? Who is your favorite food travel vlogger or TV host? What is your sun sign? Would you ever do a fast? Joking. But besides eating, what is your favorite thing to do? When are you coming to visit me in Minnesota? So I love Pray Paint, it's from YouTube. Okay, who is your biggest inspiration? I already answered that, my mum. Would you ever do a food travel show? And the answer is, well, I'm doing it right now. Um, the only difference is I'm doing it on YouTube. Um, there is something, a very, very exciting project that's coming up in 2019. Unfortunately, I can't say anything at this point, but 
watch this space. I just realized I forgot to eat a lemon. Oh. oh. I think I chose the, the most sour lemon. Oh, we do. I'm gonna try some of this chicken floss bread. I love chicken floss. I grew up eating this and I used to have it on beautiful white bread, butter, and just a copious amount of this chicken floss. Itadakimasu! Mm. Oh! I love Maxine's cakes. They make the best baked goods. Oh, there's something in here. I actually don't know what's in here. I thought it was just white bread and chicken floss, but no, it's more than that. Mmm. That's really good. Who is your favorite food travel vlogger or TV host? Ooh. That's a tough one. Um, I'm a huge fan of My Kind of Eats, Max McFarlane. And he's actually one of the reasons why I'm in Hong Kong. We have been collaborating together all week. He's taken me to his favorite must-eats here in Hong Kong. This place actually does a really good fried frog. And then I love their eggplant. They're putting like their special sauce on it right here. Obviously a massive, massive fan of Mikey Chan from um, Strictly Dumpling, Mark Ween's migra uh, Migrationology. What is your sun sign? Is the sun sign similar to a star sign? I don't know. My star sign is I'm a Virgo because I'm born in August, 31st, no, 30th August. Would you ever do a fast? Yes. So when I'm not traveling for food, I do intermittent fasting and I do the ketogenic diet. So my inter intermittent fasting is I have one meal a day. So I usually have dinner at 6 p.m. every single day and I don't eat till 6 p.m. the next day. And with my ketogenic diet, um, normally, I'll, I'll, I like to keep my macros down really low, and I keep my um, and I like to maintain my net carbs around between seven and eight. Besides eating, what is your favorite thing to do? Um, this travel, eating, and vlogging is my life. When are you coming to visit me in Minnesota? Well. If I had my if I had my way, I'd be in Minnesota right now. But I think it's a bit too cold at the moment, so I'll probably wait till either spring or fall. Oh. So, next question from Len Hershey, Facebook: What don't you eat? I eat everything, everything. Okay. From Lindry Tolliver, Facebook. Have you learned to knit yet? No, I haven't. I'm still waiting for that invitation. Oh God, that's wild. Okay, I'm gonna try the chicken pie now. I'm expecting this pastry to be buttery and short and really, really rich. And, and also to be partially sweet. Knowing Maxine's, this is going to be a sweet pastry as well. That's a curry chicken filling. That pastry is so short, so buttery. Gorgeous. Next question is from Broke. Broken Delicious Instagram. Will you be making lemonades? I'll take a lemonade right now. From Vancouver Food Hunter Instagram and Mia Goring Instagram. What is the lemon challenge? What is the worst cuisine you've ever had? Well, I'm doing the lemon challenge right now, so you probably know this when you watch this video. What is the worst cuisine you've ever had? I have yet to have a cuisine I don't like. I eat anything and everything. From Sweet and Hangry Instagram. If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? It won't be lemons. 
that's a really tough question. Um, I love a Malaysian slash Singaporean dish called bakute. I love that. But I reckon if I ate that every day, um, I'd get bored of it. I think anything. I also love nasi lama. I love coconut rice. I love Hanini's chicken rice. Oh, Struth, this is a tough one. I don't know. Um, one of those. Either nasi lama, Hanini's chicken rice, or bakute. Follow our lead from Instagram. Where did you get the name Travelling Ulcers? Traveling component makes sense. I think that's really self-explanatory. I love everything about travel. Um, the ulcers bit is not the stomach ulcers, but the tongue ulcers. Growing up, um, every time food is put on the table, all of us kids would go and just dive in and grab as much as we can and then eat it as if we're never ever getting fed again. Um, and in the rush, I have a tendency to bite my tongue and the ulcers would just flare up. So that's kind of the traveling ulcers. It's probably not the best name for my channel, but it is what it is. From Black Panda 88 on YouTube. Any brothers and sisters, what's the worst thing you've ever eaten? Which YouTuber do you want to meet and collab the most? The dream collab. Okay, any brothers and sisters, yes. I have a younger brother and a younger sister. Leanne, you've probably um, seen on a pre in previous episodes because she is part of the traveling ulcers. We're a brother-sister duo. It's just that I've been traveling quite a fair bit and extensively by myself over the last six months. But she is going to be making an appearance when I return to Australia. What's the worst thing you've ever eaten? Um, I don't actually think I've eaten anything that bad that I'd say it's the worst thing I've ever eaten. Um, I've disliked a lot of things, but I've never actually... Oh my lord, I keep forgetting my lemon. I don't particularly like um, baby corn. Something about baby corn that I just don't like. I don't hate it, I'll eat it. Which YouTuber do you want to meet and collab the most? Um, I mean, I, I, I aspire and I like to collab with, with some of the bigger food and travel YouTubers, but um, I actually want to do collaborations with other YouTubers that I have an affiliation with, that I feel that I've got a connection with. For example, here in Hong Kong, um, I've spent the week with Max McFarlane from My Kind of Eats. Um, and not just eating and traveling together, but it's been a masterclass of, of you know, hints and secrets of how to better frame my shots. And he's just given me invaluable advice on how to improve my shooting and for my angles, but most importantly, um, the post-production process. Um, and it's more than, uh, obviously this, the filming, the conversation, the narrative is very important, but that only represents 50% of the story. The other 50% involves hours and days and weeks of post-production and trying to make sure you choose the right hashtags to, to partner with the video. It's so much effort for a single video. drink anything on the ferry so I will be answering a few questions but also that means I'll just have double or triple the lemons when I get to Soho or the Central. next okay so I think I've already answered that um, there really isn't anything I won't eat or can't eat it's just that I 
I'm not a fan of baby corn, so generally I'll choose not to eat baby corn, but I'll eat it if I have to anyway. Where would you like to travel to next? Um, there is an exciting destination happening in 2019. I can't say much more than that, but suffice to say, it is going to be amazing. But if you had to ask me for my dream destination, that would be Antarctica. Hands down, Antarctica. Next question from Daniel Mel, Instagram. What is your favorite lemon main course dish and your favorite lemon flavor dessert? Um, I'll start with the dessert because I think that's the easiest. I love a really, really tart lemon meringue pie, but I also love a citron tart. Oh, it's a tough one to choose. I'd probably say lemon meringue. Um, lemon main course. Uh, I suppose the only lemon main course I can think of is like lemon pork or lemon chicken, which is really a, a highly westernized dish so not my cup of tea but if we're if we're gonna use if we're gonna kind of use an extension of that and saying that sour or tart I'd have to say the Malaysian asam laksa but they don't use lemon they use tamarind as a souring agent is that alright Ralph is that okay answer my diva creations Instagram if you're coming to California after the holidays and does any of this food give you the runs during your travels? <laughs> it's a bit TMI, but yes, many, many times. And it has never made it on YouTube because I just kind of, it's just so unsavory. Who wants to talk about, you know, diarrhea or gastroenteritis? But that's the reality of travel. You will get sick. You will be exposed to pathogens and hundreds and thousands of people. You will get sick. I have fallen sick. Food with Brian UK from Instagram. What is the moistest food you've had? Moistest. Oh, isn't that just the sexiest word? Moistest. I suppose any soup based dish would be really moist. Um, I've also had, a, oh my goodness, um, like a flourless orange cake that I had when I'm um, in Melbourne just before I left six months ago. Oh my god, so moist, so moist. I think we're birthing and it's almost time to alight the fairy. I survived that crossing. I am heading to, I am getting myself some egg tarts um, to continue with the lemon and eating challenge. Oh my god, this is hands down my favorite egg tart bakery in all of Hong Kong. And here's the thing, they've got branches around Hong Kong and Kowloon and the new territories, but for some reason it's only here that it's the best. Don't know why. And, and seriously, at nine or eight Hong Kong dollars each, it is amazing value. Okay, I've got my egg tarts. This is the third time I've been here this week. And frankly, you can't get any better egg tarts than at that bakery. And I'm now gonna take you to my favorite spot in all of Soho, all of Hong Kong Island. If I can only get there without getting run over. Why do I continually subject myself to these goddamn hills? Seriously, holy moly. 
how many of these do I need to climb every single day? Oh, the things I do for you guys, seriously. And the things I do for egg tarts. Oh, I'm knackered. Oh, holy moly, seriously. I'm gonna be so fit by the time I return to Australia. just on the steps but there are two seats down there that I normally love just sitting and watching the world go by unfortunately other people have the same idea because it is lunchtime I did answer a few questions on the ferry and unfortunately uh, you're not allowed to eat or drink anything sorry my pants is actually slipping so I'm gonna have to take a few Soph Marty in YouTube. What's your absolute favorite city you've been in? What's the weirdest thing you've eaten? What's it good? When is your birthday? Do you have brothers or sisters? What is your favorite airline? What's the worst thing that has ever happened to you in an airport? What is the best airport lounge you've ever been in? Okay. Oh, that is disgusting. Okay, what's my absolute favorite city I've been in? That one is incredibly easy. That is Penang. Penang Island, Georgetown. Um, apart from having a lot of my family there, I just love the architecture, the energy, but more importantly, the food on Penang is phenomenal. I also popped into the Thai Chinon Bakery. I got myself some egg tarts. Oh, itadakimasu. Wow. This bakery makes that down. My favorite egg tart. All of Hong Kong. Well, heck, all of the world. And at nine Hong Kong dollars each is incredible value. It is so silky smooth. It is not too sweet. It's not too eggy, which is also very important. There's a harmonious balance. Mm. It's absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Chris Edkins from Instagram. What is one of your favorite personal achievements? Favorite place to go in Melbourne? Favorite thing to cook and eat at home? Right. It's a big piece as well. Oh god, that's disgusting. Oh, that's vile. Um, what's my favorite place, favorite place to go in Melbourne? Oh, that's easy. Hands down, that has to be the Dandenongs. Especially in winter or in autumn when it's cold and there's a thick fog in the air when and the light cuts through and it gives us such a almost a physical presence. I like to walk through the bush barefoot and just ground myself and just sit and listen to the bellbirds and the lyrebirds and just decompress. That is possibly my favorite place in all of Melbourne. Ooh. I also got this okra with wasabi. I tried opening this um, in Kowloon, but I just couldn't open it. It's actual whole okra. It's not slices. It's like a whole okra. And it's covered in wasabi. Itadakimasu! Wow. It is completely dehydrated. And then there was 
Zabi is really, really prominent. That's a great little snack. Favorite thing to cook and eat at home. I make a really, really good rendang. Um, specifically, beef rendang or dagging rendang is, I make a pretty good version of that. It takes hours and hours to cook the beef so that it's tender and that it breaks apart. It's gonna take hours to boil down for it to flavor that, that dry curry. What is one of my favorite Maybe it's the, the building of my backyard aquaponic system. It's a closed loop system where I'm raising silver perch and goldfish and tetanus catfish in massive IBC tanks. Um, and most of those will be consumed when they're larger, where they create fecal matter, where they create waste. And that waste is then sucked up and um, Lots and lots of bacteria that converts the ammonia into nitrite, into nitrate, um, which the plants can then absorb as nutrients. So the plants don't need to be fertilized. I don't need to, um, you know, feed anything. Because once again, it's getting all the nutrients from the bacterial process of converting the ammonia into nitrite into nitrate. Thank you all so much for watching this lemon challenge Q and A and taste test. Um, as much as I joked about finishing World Trade Paint for, um, for nominating me for this challenge, I am very, very thankful that you did because I, kind of, I was forced to think of different locations on how I can actually make this challenge a little more interesting than just being stuck next to the location. So, thank you so much, Love Trade Paint. Please, everyone, visit her YouTube channel and you know subscribe and follow her because she is an incredibly talented artist and teacher. So until the next video, you can find all lounge review. Bye!